Let's talk about cans real quick. Sure. What's your preferred suppressor when you were in the military and then when you were at after the military? Mm. I like the lockup on the AEC probably the best. I didn't like how much blowback was on it. I wasn't a fan of the original Knights can. We had to bailing wire those things on or they'd blow off, especially you put them on Mark 46s, they'd blow off. Definitely had that happen. I wasn't a big fan of any of the suppressors. Yeah, really any of them. But I mean, I only had two, really. The Knights can, that, um, that original one we had on the cold M4s and then the AEC with the HK416. I didn't really like either of those cans, if I'm being honest. The new, is it CQD can? The little short guy we have now? No, QDC. QDC. I love that can. Yeah. yeah. They got a new model. Um, guys from Knight just left here. They're going to send us those. Those things are great. Even the folding version, I think it's a five and a half inch. Those things are fucking tough, dude. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. If I was king for a day and I just, I made everybody adopt one technology, I'd say if it's not flow through right now, you should probably look at th uh, flow through. Huxworks, in my opinion, probably make one of the best cans out there. I haven't seen their new QD system yet. I'm, I heard they have them. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick that right now. But that night scan is my favorite one I have right now. Just because it's short. It's a little bit heavier. I know they got a 3D printed version to mess around with right now. But between those, SIG makes a really good flow through cam. The lockup's really good on it. Um, for garden variety, just everybody out there, you can't go wrong with Huxworks, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. If I had to mandate everybody, and, and I say that because I think they're going to. I think they're going to mandate everybody adopt that flow through technology because the government does not want to spend the millions of dollars it's going to have to for all these people that are going to die from upper respiratory disease and having all that smoke and all that toxic yeah. blowback. I'm trying to think of who else has some really good ones. Just out of those two, I mean, KEC and Hawks are, are my go-to. If I had to grab anything right now, I'd grab one of those. Right. I've never had a cycling issue with either one of those guns, ever. Mm -hmm. And I put that Huxworks can on 25 different uppers and never had an issue. And it's quiet, keeps the gas out of my face. And my one issue with that is I don't read so well. And I guess neither do you. I was going to say. So when you thread on that can, yep. we'll over tighten it. And then when that thing's real hot, we'll get to loosen up and we'll actually give it another quarter of a turn. And once that fucker's on there, it's really hard to get off. They'll come to find out there's an arrow. There is an arrow, and if you're just smart enough to look at the arrow, yeah, you not. can get it off. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I'm more just yeah. going to send it. Yeah, yeah, so don't be like us. There's an arrow in the can tells you which way to turn it. Mm -hmm. We never looked at it. Multiple <laughs> times. Yeah. I'd say yeah. hundreds of times we've never looked at it. But yeah, man, um, they make some great stuff, dude. They really do. Mm -hmm. But outside of that, I mean... Those are my two favorite cans so far that I've shot. And God, how many suppressors do you think we've shot in the last five years? Oh, dude, there's a lot in there. There's a lot. In I there. think when when I did the inventory on them, I think we have over fifty cans, different flavors. Mm -hmm. Some we haven't even used. Yeah, we definitely have not used. We probably use a quarter, yeah, at most an eighth of our inventory. But I mean, all the different manufacturing, we definitely yeah. shot the. The top 15 suppressor manufacturers. For sure. Them all. And out of those two, the ones that stand out the most to me are Huxworks, KEC, SIG. Yeah. SIG's a little heavy, but that blow through, man, you just can't ignore it, dude. They do a really good job with that flow through tech. You're right, though. They are a little heavy, but yeah, as far as uh, I think they call they don't call it flow through. It's the same thing. It's the same yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. They just I think different... Huxworks has a patent on yeah. flow through, so sorry if I fucked you guys up with that. Yeah. Our bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From a from a from a practical application in the military, as far as suppressors is concerned, does it really matter how loud or how quiet it is when you're using it for work? You know, in a perfect scenario, it'd be just like the movies. Yeah, it's not like an MP7. Mm -hmm. In a in a perfect scenario for sure and would that help 100 percent, that would help for sure if it doesn't sound like a pow sometimes it's just enough to and that's what that's some of the reality that people don't realize is a lot of those shot sequences 
or one shot, two or three really close. Mm -hmm. They're so short in duration that even if somebody hears it from a hundred yards out, they're like, what the fuck was that? And they don't hear anything else. They're like, nothing. It's definitely not a gunshot. Whatever that was, I don't know what that was. It's not a gunshot. Sometimes it's just enough. But yeah. I mean, and a lot of it's like the neighbors. Like you can do a shooting inside a house. You don't want the neighbors to wake up and hear it. So like you want it suppressed, but people spend so much time trying to quiet that thing down. You ultimately you start messing around with the gas flow system. And now we're not getting the cycling power you really need. It's like, would I rather have a louder suppressor that fires every time or a super, super quiet? It's a 60, 40 chance. Like, loud and fires every time all day that's mm -hmm. what i really have yeah i think hux horse does a really good job of coming really close to bridging those two they're quiet man i mean we used to film with water back in the day you ever seen us do that yeah, like a like wet can yeah we'd put a yeah. bunch of gorilla tape on the front of it like even take a, an ear pro and roll it up and stick it in the front of it rigor tape open to fill the whole thing with water screw back on just keep it at low port the whole time first couple rounds it's super quiet quiet right mm -hmm. yeah if you invert it and put it Obviously, all the water falls out of it, yeah. so you keep it low ready. It's fine. But yeah, you mess around with. The, the, there's just this like, I don't know if it's unrealistic, but these expectations, especially from the civilian side, of oh, it's too loud. Oh, it's too like yo. Like in real life, if you do use it, you're never gonna notice that it's a, it's a rifle. Or it's I mean, a look at that movie Heat, and I know it's a Hollywood movie, so don't stone me for that. But see any ear pro on those dudes? Mm -hmm. Look at cops that jump out of a squad car midday school shooting. You see them stop and throw on Peltors? No. You see them all getting out with suppressors on? What do they do? Put it on fire and take the slack out. Yeah. Like, it's not going to kill you. Like, I mean, we had to do it on the range day. Just shoot a couple of drills with no rear pro on. I mean, we start putting on the brakes. They obviously get very, very loud, but... I'd rather know than not. I mean, what's going to happen? Like, somebody goes bump in the middle of the night and you've been planning for the apocalypse and you've got your, you know, your your truck gun next to your bed, 5.56, five, <laughs> you come rolling through, what are you going to put on your Peltors? What are you going to do? But the very first time you that. shoot that thing on suppress, you don't want it to be inside your house, never knowing what that's going to be like. Same thing with your pistol. Like, you carry it concealed all day long. You ever shot it with no ear pro in? You're going to fish it out of a t-shirt and you gonna try to block it real quick? Like, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. No, you're just gonna shoot it. It's not that bad. It's not. And people make it seem like it's a howitzer going off. Like your ears aren't gonna get blown out first one. Just shoot it. And you got that auditory exclusion. I mean, we used to do it in training all the time. We'd shoot out of vehicles. Like, take up your pro. Take up your pro. Foamies come out. Peltors come off. Just keep on clear eye pro. Shoot through the windshield. Boom! 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 Okay. Just to crash each other the same thing just so you know what it's like yeah that way you're not timid by it like i don't want you to hesitate like oh i've got to shoot this guy through the windshield hold on one second like you're trying to block my ears like we're not doing that mm -hmm. shoot you'll be all right i heard those aren't service related the hearing loss <laughs> part <laughs> <laughs> yeah nothing service related if you ask the va all right <laughs> yeah. oh you got your leg shot off in ramadi you were still trying to see if that service connected oh yeah no <laughs> <laughs> 